Hey guys, it's Nicole back again, and today I'll be teaching you how to create another charm using a hook. So I'll be teaching you how to create a four lip charm on a hook. No need any loom, you just need green bands and a hook. So this is what you're going to need, of course, a hook or a green bands. I'll be using Jolly Green for today. Okay, before we get started, do not forget to give this a big thumbs up. And subscribe the button up there for more. And now without further ado, let's get started. So first get your green bands. Then we'll be starting by um, getting one band. And you're gonna triple tap it on your hook. So here's my hook. I'm gonna get green bands. You're gonna triple tap it on here. So one, two, and three. So it's like you're gonna do a triple cap like this. So you have um, a cap band which is two, one, two, three lines. And then after that, you'll get two bands. You are gonna grab the, put this on your hook. Okay, put it on your hook like this. Grab the cap band and pull it to this, like this. So you have one which is created. Now you're going to do it three more times, the process. So yeah. So I probably changed my hook and make it in a mini hook because it has more, it is more long than this. It doesn't fit now. I am done doing three. I'm doing the last one. As I said, you need four of this. So what to do is triple cap it again. One, three. So you have kind of three links here. Now you'll get two bands. Two green bands, of course, and do the same thing. You'll bring the cap band, okay, in, bring it all to the, all to the two green bands. To finish your creation, make sure that you have four, um, two bands with a triple cap. Then you'll get a single band, okay, and bring all the green band, bring all, bring all the things that you just made on the one band. So put it like here, other band, put all, so like this. Now you're gonna bring this on here so here's the other part you're gonna bring it on the hook then to finish this you will get this one band and bring it here and you're gonna tie a knot on it so here I'm tying a knot like this so when you're done your furry charm or clover charm looks like this Yay, so fab and cute. So guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you like it. Um, before you end the video, as I always say, big, give this a big thumbs up and subscribe the bottom up there. And see you very soon. Bye.